This week, ABC 13 Localish is highlighting the Cypress community, a place not just growing in population, but jobs as well. The past few months hasn't been easy filling those positions. ABC 13's Nick Natario took a look at how employers have been getting creative. With ABC 13 Localish in Cyprus, we want to help neighbors there find work. We've partnered with Workforce Solutions to connect employers with candidates. One way was an in-person job fair at the agency's location in Willowbrook. There, candidates met with a handful of employers offering a variety of jobs from one paying $20 an hour, encouraging people to vote. They'll be knocking on the doors, asking everyone have they voted, um, getting them the opportunity to vote, showing them the new uh, voting polls. To working in one of the state's biggest school districts, SciFair ISD. SciFair is where you want to be uh, with the opportunities that are available, with the support that we give you. The jobs may be different, but the struggles are the same. Right now, employers have positions, but across the country, they've been hard to fill. SciFair ISD raised starting teacher pay, but it still has a teacher shortage. Years ago, we would attend job fairs where we would have um, upwards of 100 of employers, but you'd have upwards of 300, 350 applicants to where now we're attending job fairs with anywhere from 50 to 100 applicants available. Texas Tool Belt's election position requires people to drive around. With high gas prices, it had to lure new workers with a $20 gas gift card. It's every time they go out. Oh, every time they go out, they get a yes. $20 gift, yes. uh, gas card. If you're looking for work in the Cypress area, recruiters say new employers are constantly reaching out, and it's with a variety of industries. In the Cypress area, we are seeing a lot of medical fill, a lot of medical occupation, a lot of retail, a lot of food service and hospitality. If you're looking for work in Cyprus or anywhere else in Southeast Texas, join our virtual job fair wherever you stream ABC 13 at 10 in the morning each Thursday. Nick Victoria, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.